Hi, I'm Lee Chantel, and today we're going to talk about hair. I've been asked this question a lot lately, so I thought I would speak to you about it. Um, I've been vegan for almost 22 years, and all that time I've been asked, oh, what do you use with your hair? What do you put on your hair? And they always say back to people, it's not what you put on it, it's what you consume. It's, you know, um, something that you need. If you're looking after yourself, your um your hair will will be good as well so i know this is totally superficial and that but yeah let's get into it guys when i was in cambodia i um was there on my way to indonesia um from um my last adventures in the u.s and I had short hair then at the time. I think my hair was about here because I'd shaved it maybe a year before that. So I shaved my hair um, after I had a bit of a breakdown after my second vegan festival I put on, which um, caused a lot of drama. Um, my state, Queensland in Australia, was three quarters of it was declared like a disaster zone. And um, it was really hard to fund the festival. It was really hard to get volunteers involved because people were helping out flood victims and stuff like that. So I had a bit of a breakdown and decided I'm just going to shave my hair off. Um, so it was Blade 2. Um, my friend um, Jody cut, cut off the hair bit and my friend Darren, he shaved it and we left all my hair at his sanctuary that he used to run called Cariad Animal Sanctuary in a place called Kyogle. And um, after that, I pretty much just used bicarb soda in my hair and keep in mind this because my hair was quite short so I didn't really need to do too much with my hair. Um, so I just would get a paste of bicarbonate soda, soda um, rub it in some water in the shower and just pretty much put it through my hair and rinse it out. That was it. And then as my hair grew, maybe sort of below my ears or something, then it needed something a bit more than that. And I don't really like to wash my hair much, to be honest, because it destroys the oils and it's just a bit of a hassle, to be honest. And um, that's really hard for me to believe sometimes because when I was younger, I used to have long hair down to my butt. It's like, you know, maybe a bit shorter than that at the moment. And um, I used to wash my hair every single day and I always used to plait it or roll it up in princess layer sort of things, people always used to say. And um, I just don't know why I washed my hair that much, especially when I never wore it down. But anyway, so nowadays I don't wash my hair that much. But back to the Cambodia story. I was, I love swimming. That's, I'm a swimmer. It's my fa one of my favorite things to do. So um, whenever I stay somewhere, there has to be a pool for me to swim at. And I was at a place in Cambodia, maybe it was Batambang or Phnom Penh, I can't remember, but I was there for at least 10 days, maybe two weeks. And um, I just wasn't washing my hair when I got out of the pool. And one day I was speaking to my sister on Skype and I just went like this and I could hear it squeak. My hair made this squeaky noise and I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound very good. And it was a really straw sort of feel because you can imagine I'm swimming in a pool, it's full of chlorine. I do about two hours of swimming each day. It was really hot sun also as well in Southeast Asia. So I completely destroyed my hair at this stage. Um, I fully suggest everyone shaves their head, whether you're male or female, at least once in your life because you get rid of all those like superficial attachments and you start to work out who likes you for maybe you versus who likes you for you know your aesthetics or your outside appearance. So it was a really good learning point for me. Um, but then, yeah, when my hair was growing back I, and I'd ruined it, in Cambodia with the swimming and I was looking online okay what do I do with this hair stuff my sister had mentioned some hair treatment but I'm in Cambodia they don't have vegan hair treatment things on on every corner or even probably didn't have any in Cambodia so what do I have in Southeast Asia I've got a lot of coconut oil I can get coconut oil quite easily so I developed a bit of a, a routine I found out online that when you're swimming, if you 
if you wet your hair first then when the chlorine goes onto your hair it's not binding as harshly because it's already wet so my first bit was wash my hair in the shower before I actually go for a swim so just wash and I'm talking about wet my hair rather than washed actually so I'd wet my hair in the shower then I'd go down and do my swimming when I had when I finished my swimming I then made myself wash my hair every time I had a swim in the chlorine and then I would put coconut oil on my hair and I'm talking like it was maybe below my ears at this stage I would put coconut oil on my hair and just brush it through and I would put some more on just before I went to bed and if you do this make sure you put a towel on your pillow otherwise you'll just get oil everywhere it's not really that great to see um, so I was doing that every day and I think I might have also been putting coconut oil on my wet hair as well. So it was wet hair, coconut oil, go for a swim, wash hair, coconut oil, coconut oil again at um, night before bed. So that's what I did for about a week. After a week, my hair was back to normal. It was more um, soft and uh, vital. So I suggest that for anyone that's having some dry hair or some problem hair issues at the moment. And yeah, that's what I would do. I also suggest um, don't wash your hair more than say twice a week. Um, and if you do, like normally when I wash my hair, I would wash it at least once with shampoo. But sometimes if I haven't washed it for maybe like four or five days, I would then do a second shampoo and then condition it. And I normally put my conditioner in and then, you know, do all the soap, soaping yourself and whatever other things you like to do in the, in the shower. And then I'll rinse the conditioner out of my hair. So... Um, that's another thing I suggest and I don't buy I'm not really into brand stuff I'm not into anything like really expensive um, I try not to buy things that I don't need um, I really love a brand called perfect potion for my lotions and potions but not I don't think I really use their hair products to be honest so I just use a brand called organic care that's an Australian brand and um, this is like really cheap I think it's two dollars and if you get it on special it might be less than that and um, I just get there's different there's different sorts I just found in the cupboard the olive leaf and wheat protein which is dry nourish I don't really care what they say here um, I just buy them based on the colors and there's like a normal balance there's conditioner and shampoo there's a really cool one with um, coconut oil at the moment and there's a color one and there might be another one so there's at least four different um, versions that you can buy and they all smell different which is nice as well and yeah that's pretty much what I do if my hair is getting dry I will um, just put a bit of some coconut oil in it leave it overnight at least and I just cut my own hair as well I've got this really cheap double-sided razor thing that I bought at one of the cheap Asian stores and I'll just just go like just hack up my hair down here and just do a few layers and um, then put my hair over and then just chop it at the end um, more uh, that's what I do <laughs> and I don't even brush my hair I just comb my hair I comb my hair when I'm putting the conditioner through and I comb my hair um, after I've uh, taken the towel off my hair just so that it comes through um, but I rarely brush my hair which is sometimes bad because I have a big knot in the back of my head if I've slept on it it's had a like a bad night of sleeping or something um, so yeah, it's really not that hard. I don't like to, I don't blow dry my hair, I don't straighten my hair, I don't do anything with that. And if you can notice my hair at the moment, it's got a bit of like a curl in it. That's because I've had my hair up in a bun for a few hours this morning. And um, if I do go out, I might put some hot curlers in my hair and maybe spray something on it or some gel or something to hold it in. Um, but it's not really necessary for me to be honest and yeah it just depends how much time I have I have or how much time I want to prioritize to my hair which isn't much of a priority to be honest <laughs> I hope my little hair routine slash how to help your hair 
has helped you and um, let me know if you have anything else you'd like to add. But yeah, have a look. I've got a heap of other vegan related stuff on vivalavegan.net and you can find me, Lee Chantel, on Twitter or Facebook. Have a great week.